The Obelisk timer was instituted when ARC switched over from pre-release to full release, but there was really no clear explanation from Wildcard on how it works and what the timer means. I'm going to explain its purpose, how to use it, squash some rumors, and even show you how to take advantage of it. And that's coming up right now. Welcome to Lost Boys Gaming. Now, there were no good explanations of the Obelisk transfer timer online that I could find, but what I did find was a lot of confusion and misinformation. Now, I'm going to attempt to clear that up in this video, but first, some quick history of the transfer timer and why it was brought into the game in the first place. There are, unfortunately, some people that cheat and are willing to undo the hard work of everybody else that is playing on a server by causing it to crash and cause a rollback. Why would they want to cause a rollback? Let me explain. Before ARK had a transfer timer, people would take advantage of exploits in the game and use what's known as duping to cause the duplication of items, dinos, and basically anything that could be put into an obelisk or a drop, which is really almost anything, with the exception of element and tribute items like wyvern talons and spinal sails, which are required to fight bosses. There has been a bunch of exploits that have been patched over the years. One of them I recall was building up a raft with the maximum amount of structures and putting tons of C4 on it and detonating it. This apparently would cause the server to overload and reboot, but apparently this has been patched as well, which is great. Are you guys still experiencing rollbacks on your server? Leave a comment below. What server and how often do you think duping is still going on? How duping works can be explained like this. Let's say a player has a thousand metal ingots in their inventory. They upload the ingots to the obelisk, they crash the server, the server rolls back in time 30 minutes to when they still had the ingots in their inventory, so now they have the ingots in their inventory and the ingots in the obelisk, therefore duplicating the ingots. This works because when you upload items to the obelisk, it stores this data in, let's call it an interim server. That is not the same server you're playing on, but is part of the same cluster. This is what makes transferring between servers possible. Now enter the transfer timer. This is Wildcard's attempt to squash this exploit by using a controlled period between the server saves so when there is a rollback they could compare what was in the interim servers and the game servers thus preventing the duplication of items. Now what does this mean for you? I've seen a lot of people explaining in forums and even in my video comments that you need to have an item in your inventory for 30 minutes before you can transfer out with it. Wrong. Okay it's actually only partially wrong. Let's take a look at this graphic. Now there is nothing official from wildcard on this that I could find as uh, they like to keep things close to the vest to prevent possibly helping out these exploiters but from my experience doing these hundreds of times the longest time I've personally seen is 38 minutes which you can see is the time between the two server saves so every 38 minutes the entire world of that server is saved so if you get something into your inventory inside this 38 minute window you have to wait till the next server save before you can transfer out with it now let's dive a little deeper. This does not mean that you have to have the item in your inventory for 38 minutes. You can pick something up just one second before the save and you will be able to transfer out with it, which is why the 30 minute theory is only partially wrong. Now, this time becomes very important when you're transferring things that spoil quickly, such as mutton and wyvern milk, especially on scorched earth. I made another video on how to take advantage of the obelisk indefinite spoil time and how to keep wyvern milk fresh forever. If you want to check that out, there's a link on the screen and I'll also put it in the description for you. Now, a couple of other timers that you need to be aware about when using the obelisk. One, anything that's in your inventory or equipped by your player will expire in 24 hours if you do not download your character to another server. Two, you can only transfer a dino once every 12 hours. And three, if you upload a female dino, they will get a mating interval as though they had just mated, which will prevent the dino from mating for 18 to 48 hours. So I'm gonna do a kind of demonstration here to kind of drive the point home here a little bit more. So I'm gonna run up to the obelisk here. I've got a few miscellaneous things in my inventory. You can see our time to transfer out is about three minutes. So I'm gonna get rid of all this crap and pick up something completely new so that you can see that you can transfer out with something without having it in your inventory for 30 minutes. So you can see I just picked up some fiber here. I'm gonna walk over to the obelisk. Now I'm gonna stand here, but I will fast forward it just so you don't have to sit here um, and painfully watch the three minutes tick by like I had to. So there you have it. Three minutes has gone by and no more transfer timer. It's also important to make note of this too. If the stack of whatever you're holding changes, it increases or decreases, that timer starts all over again. So you can see I picked up some more fiber there, new timer. Um, same thing if I pick anything else up that's brand new right here. 
here. So like if you go to the obelisk and you start shooting stuff, your arrows go from 10 to nine. That's technically a new item. It starts all over. Guys, if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate you smashing that like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with people, tell your tribe mates about it. And if they got a problem with how that timer works, you send them my way and I'll freaking straighten them out. All right. Ah, just kidding. See you next time.